However, youth organizations can also be influenced by external factors such as political affiliations or financial interests. That's very balanced. <laughs> So some of you might remember about six months ago, I made a review on this brilliant software called AI Studio from a company called Deep Brain AI. So basically you could type in any words you want and the AI character will basically speak out based on what you type. So you can use this for YouTube video vlogging or for presentation purpose or various purpose actually. Um, and I just love it. And you will notice that I used this AI Studio function on my YouTube uh, videos and um, I'm looking forward to integrate more of this function in the future as well. But what if I tell you that Deep Brain AI decided to release uh, the AI Studio version 2.0, which basically enables the function of ChatGPT. That's right, people, the great chat GPT, the great trend. So I'm really excited to share this with you. So enough said, let's get on to the AI Studio 2.0. So here it goes. So here we are with the Deep Brain AI Studio 2.0. So I can already see the actual website arrangement has changed. So we got the first one, which is the chat GPT. Uh, the chroma key, which was the actual previous version was available. Advertisement, nice. Actually, there's about one, two, three, four different types of advertisement, uh, cosmetic, beauty, and also for architectural home sale purpose. Uh, we got the business uh, presentation as well. Uh, one, two, three, four of them. Um, and some of the other um, functions as well. So that's really interesting. If you scroll down more, there are so many things, actually commerce, um, about four, about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it goes on. Nine of the commerce Christmas presentation as well. That's quite cute. Um, and health, uh, how to and um, learning. So this has been hugely upgraded from the last version that I remember of. So you can use it for news as well. So if you want to present news on YouTube or for private sort of purpose presentation and so on. But what I'm really looking forward to again from the introduction is this uh, chat GPT. So if we were to press on that, you first get, you've been asked to type in what sort of subjects. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna say, will enter Elan win Seri R with a question mark. And then basically you can um, scroll on what sort of presentation you want. So I do like this one that looks really professional. So if I were to click on that and create your video with chat GPT, then basically uh, the website will generate the video uh, for you, which is what is the most important thing actually. So I look forward to see what happens. So depending on what sort of internet speed you have at the moment, um, it took me about um, 10, 15 seconds to produce this page. So you can see that there's four uh, presentation page that the first one says, uh, analyzing Inter Milan's chance of winning the Serie A. So I can see that winning is actually not um, base, uh, covered the word. Um, so it's actually been hidden by the AI character. So you can actually adjust this, uh, this whole thing. But for the sake of um, explaining to you about chat GPT, we'll just speed up a bit. So it says a detailed assessment of Inter Milan's current form and their chances of clinching their title. You will basically see that on the bottom, uh, there's the text that what the AI character will uh, speak. So that's scene one, scene two, and so on. So I don't wanna go through the whole uh, details of what writing it's available with, but let's get on to the export and we're gonna create a video clip and then I'll come back to you with the final result that is produced by AI Studio 2.0 with a chat GPT integration on it. So the video is all rendered and um, so I'm actually really looking forward to see what um, Paris is going to say with the chat GPT knowledge integrated onto it. So here it goes. Inter Milan currently leads the Sarai A table with 11 games remaining. They all have right. a six point lead over AC Milan and their form this season has been impressive. 
Good. However, with tough games against Juventus and Napoli, in the coming weeks, their title chances are still not guaranteed. Okay. Inter Milan has been in excellent form in the Serie A, winning their last six games in a row. They have been dominant nice. at both I didn't know that. the pitch, <laughs> scoring 17 goals and conceding only two in their last six games. Very good with statistics. This impressive run of form has given them a solid lead at the top of the table. Hmm. Inter Milan's main rivals for the Serie title are AC Milan and Juventus. Okay. AC Milan started the season strongly, but has since dropped points in their last few So it's games. a rival's full of explanation hand, as well. Juventus has been inconsistent this season, dropping points in several games. Nice. However, both teams have the capacity to bounce back and challenge Inter Milan's lead. Inter Milan's current form and lead in the Serie A table make them strong favorites for the title. However, with tough fixtures against Napoli and Juventus looming in the coming weeks, there's still plenty of room for other teams to close the gap. Ultimately, it will be down to Inter Milan's ability to maintain their form and focus in the final stretch of the season. That is really impressive. I think this was the um, last year when Inter Milan uh, won the Serie A. So maybe that's why the chat GPT was using the um, you know that that knowledge on it but it's nothing to do with the knowledge base on ai studio but the way how ai studio draft this pr presentation is really impressive it's so professional and it could be done instantly like that you don't need to spend ages and someone else could talk for you um, and you don't need to type all these things and all the statistics is from chat gpt knowledge uh, source so I'm actually blown away with this. This is fantastic. So um, let's get on to another uh, example, shall we? So I basically ask um, ChatGPT by using AI Studio 2.0 whether the subject that everyone wants to ask about, whether the journalism is politically biased. And I'm sure many of you want to hear this and I thought it would be a quite interesting subject to discuss. But before we get into the final rendered version, I can see that uh, there's Ruby, but if you actually scroll down, Ruby has navy dress, which is the one that I used last time, but now she has the full grown hair uh, with a wine, uh, wine suit, okay, uh, sky blue, and there's about four different dressing that you can actually customize with. You can also for, go for like Halen, and this is already something that I discussed on my previous video, but um, initially when I actually type in this question, the four pages shown only Ruby or any of the certain character, but for each pages have sort of different presentation, I decided to change it with um, four different person uh, to be able to address this matter. So I just wanted to explain to you that that's what you can do. For example, if you're not happy with the position of some of the text, you can certainly relocate that. And sometimes I can see that the text is not in the right place. For this one, it came out quite nicely. So make sure all of them are nicely positioned and then you just need to press the export. So um, let's get on with the results. So here it goes. Journalism can be politically biased if it favors one political party or candidate over another. Exactly. However, journalists should strive to report the news neutrally and objectively by presenting both sides of an issue. Exactly. Bias can be identified in journalism through the language used in a story, the sources cited or omitted, and the way in which the story is presented. Yes. Being informed and reading from multiple sources can help identify any political bias in journalism. That means we've got to be more. Journalists can be biased due to their personal beliefs or worldview. However, news organizations can also be influenced by external factors such as political affiliations or financial interests. That's very Understanding balanced. Understanding <laughs> these factors can help readers identify any potential bias in journalism. Yeah. Balanced reporting is important because it ensures that both sides of an issue are presented fairly. This allows the reader to form their own opinion based on the facts presented. Yep. By striving for balanced reporting, journalists can avoid any potential political bias and maintain the trust of their readers. No, that was really impressive. I just love the fact that um, ChatGPT was very balanced on the way how we as viewers or readers should accept on the way how journalism uh, presents themselves and so on. So, um, and also I love the way how four different person was presenting uh, this short video clip and so on. So this is really good indeed. So what can I say? I'm 
really impressed with this huge upgrade for AI Studio 2.0. Uh, having that chat GPT uh, function on it and then you can instantly create a video clip with a fantastic default presentation that once uh, chat GPT create a script for you and then you can customize it which literally takes just like few minutes this is a huge jump for, for the way how we can produce uh, video clips and that's exactly what I need as well for a guy like me. In the future, I'm hoping that um, this whole channel could be potentially merged with a AI character, maybe some of the videos in the future because you might become so familiar with certain AI characters that I actually put on my video. Uh, these uh, AI characters will then eventually be the main presenter of each of my videos when I do tech reviews or demonstration of any sort of things. And I just thought, this is just getting closer to that stage and to be honest with you what i want to say is that i never ever um, let's say about two years ago imagined that such function would be available uh, in our times and here we are um, thanks to the ai studios um, integration with chat gpt we could seriously think about what other uh, various stuff that we could present professionally and the script you can all leave it down to ChatGPT. If you do not like all the text that is produced, the script, then AI Studio 2.0 will allow you to change that as well, customizable for your point of view as well. So I hope this video demonstrates to you how fantastic this AI Studio 2.0 is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.